Hey, it's Mai here. Let's go over how to do the stacking canvases effect that you've probably seen on a lot of show it websites. I'm going to show you two versions. One where um, I call it full cover. The next canvas covers up the canvas before. Like this. And then I'm going to show you what I call floating where you have a canvas and then there is an element on the next canvas that covers up the last one and so it looks like the content is floating on the screen while the rest of the background stays the same and you can actually download the finished demo template that i'm using for the tutorial it's completely free and then you have it already set up for you so that you can use these same settings when you're creating designs um so be sure to download this free template at the link in the description. So for that first option, the full cover style, what you'll do is create your first canvas. And I don't actually set this to be window height, but I do make the canvas fairly big just so it takes up most of the screen. So you'll see this canvas here is a height of 818 pixels. So I've created the canvas, designed it with the content that I want, and then the Settings that are important for the stacking canvases effect are the stacking order and then for the canvases to be sticky to the top on scroll. And so we have this first canvas um, and the stacking order is one. And then for the next canvas, what I usually do if we go to the page tab is actually duplicate um, that canvas and then update the design. And so you want it to be the same initial height um, so that it fully covers the last canvas. And then the other setting that we need to change is we want this stacking order to be higher than the last canvases so that it can cover it up. So this is a stacking order of two. And then same thing for the third canvas. I just made a third duplicate of the canvas, updated the design, made sure it was a stacking order of three. And you'll notice this second canvas is top on scroll and so is the third canvas as well. And then as long as you have those settings of the stacking order getting higher with each canvas and then each of these canvases that you want to stack being sticky to the top on scroll, you'll have that effect. And then once you're done with the effect, you want to make sure that any canvas after the stacking ends has a stacking order of four or more. So like if you had one, two, three, like I did, um, everything else, like all the other canvases on the page, would be at least four so that it covers uh, the canvases for the rest of the page and you don't see them anymore. And so I'll show you what this looks like on a finished website. I used it for my packages on the services page of my own website. And so you'll see you have brand design here and then show it template customizations and then show it template development. And then as you scroll the rest of the page, um, those stacked canvases are completely covered. You never see them again. And so that's what I mean by making sure that you have a higher stacking order for the canvases on the rest of the page um, so that they cover them up. And you don't need any canvases on the rest of the page to be sticky. Um, just You just want a higher stacking order. Uh, okay, and so let's look at the second option here and that's the floating canvases it's a very similar setup uh with the difference being is so we have our first canvas here and usually i'll decide on a background that i want for this entire section and have some text that's outside of the information that will change if needed um and so this is that first section and it looks really complete it has a stacking order of one and this time with the floating effect, you do want each canvas to be set to window height and then top on scroll as well. And for the next canvas, because we've decided on the background and the title already, you actually don't need to repeat that. You only want to repeat the information that you want to change. So I have this box here so that it'll cover up the last box. And then I updated the information. And you'll notice that the positioning of this box is the same as the positioning on the last canvas. And that's because you really want it to seamlessly cover it up. And so what I did is actually duplicate this canvas, 
remove the background completely. So you'll see if I go to canvas background, the color is transparent. And then remove the title since we don't need to repeat that, but make sure the box and is in the same exact position. So you'll notice it's like a little bit below halfway of the canvas because that's how this one is to leave space for the title. And then I duplicated that transparent canvas and made the last one and again just updated the information. And same thing with these, you want any canvases after this to not be sticky but to have a higher stacking order so they cover them up. And then for that third canvas as well, if we go back, like I said, with the second canvas, it's window height. And actually, I did a stacking order of just one for both of these. And it works fine. So if we go back, you have your first canvas, then the second canvas covers it, and then the third, and then the rest of the page begins. And I did want to mention mobile for just a minute. If we look at mobile for that first option with the full cover, I found that it's easier to not do the effect on mobile just because you might need more space than window height and um, then the effect doesn't really work that great on mobile. So if we look, I just have it so that you scroll through each of the sections and it looks pretty normal. For the floating effect, I found that this one's easier to do on mobile, so I actually do have it set up for both desktop and mobile here. The setup is the same as desktop where you have your first section that's complete and then you just duplicate and update the box for any additional sections. And so when we preview this on mobile, because it's window height, it fits on the mobile screen better and um, really works well. If you did want to do this full cover effect on mobile, um, you just want to make sure that it fits within the, the window. Um, but I found with a lot of these types of sections, when you have more content, it doesn't work. So that's how you do the stacking canvases effect in Show It. I have another tutorial that I'll put the link for if you haven't seen it yet. It's how to do three different neat show effects to add more movement to your website designs. I talk about creative ways to use image hover doing a sticky sidebar on scroll and color changing text effects. So a really fun tutorial. Be sure to watch that one as well if you haven't yet. And if you found this tutorial helpful, I'd love it if you subscribed and recommended this to a designer friend who would find it helpful too.